Hi folks, uh, now that we've concluded the fall 2020 semester, I just uh, wanted to share a little bit of some of the technology that I used this past semester as we went 100% uh, uh, virtual on uh, uh, for the semester. Some of the tools that I've used uh, to communicate with my students, uh, both in classes and in lab sessions and in tutoring sessions. Uh, probably the workhorse, of course, is my Windows 10 machine, which I have running here. I have a a dual monitor set up and here's uh, here's one of my monitors that I used specifically to share uh, while I'm running Zoom uh, for our for our Zoom meetings. Another tool that I used was this uh, little app uh, that I found um, on the Android store uh, called IV Cam. It was a low cost one uh, one time uh, one time pay. Uh, but what's cool about it is um, it allows me to connect an older Android phone that I literally had sitting in a drawer from like uh, two upgrades ago. I think it, I think my Android phone actually has a, a cracked screen as well. But the five megapixel um, rear facing camera works just fine. And uh, above here, I don't, I don't want to move it to see it, but what I have is I have a rigging that has, I, I've, I've sort of placed on my desk uh, made out of thin uh, PVC pipe. And I have that little Android phone uh, sort of sort of mounted up there. And using IV Cam, I can go ahead and, pro and uh, project my entire surface here. And what I've been able to do while lecturing and discussing with my students is since we don't have a, a physical whiteboard behind me, I can share my screen. But because I don't have a whiteboard, uh, my, my go-to tools have been uh, Sharpie, thank you Sharpie, and, uh, and white, um, white, white and half 11 by 11 paper. So whenever we would uh, talk uh, about a particular um, topic, let's say for instance we have some generic physics problem where there's a, there, there's a road, and of course we're typically talking about a car or a box. Maybe we'll go ahead and put some wheels on this guy. And maybe initially he's traveling at a velocity of, of equals uh, not too fast of uh, 3.2 meters per second and of course and then of course this would turn into a giant physics word problem from there um, this works out pretty well it's, sometimes my camera doesn't want to autofocus so I'd have to lift it up here to get it get it to, to be close and I, I'm notoriously left-handed as you can see so while I am writing um, say for instance y0 here equals 0 um, meters above the ground you notice you can't see anything because my left hand is hand is hiding what I'm writing um, so that's one of the drawbacks like I have to sort of reveal what I've written uh, writing with my left hand and the other sort of drawback and not, not too terrible is that um, we, we've had a lot of classes this past semester uh, it was a long long semester and, and recently cleaning up my desk because uh, we're, we're past finals here I sort of put all of my, my, my sheets together. Uh, this is, these are not my lecture notes, if you will. These are the sheets, uh, these are my whiteboards that I've, I've produced over the past semester. Uh, so what we would do is we, as we go through and solve different problems, well, again, whether it was in a, a laboratory session or whether it was a, a, a looking for a, example problems or, or a review sheet of some kind, sometimes I would go ahead and I would actually have um, some experiments printed out. We'd, we'd uh, take some data here at my desk. If they were small, manipulative, would write some things down. Um, that's great. It, it, it's, it's a lot of a lot of material. And to make sure that the students also had access to this, uh, in addition to just watching hours and hours and hours of videos, I lectured uh, uh, and, and we had discussions uh, 12 hours per week of video, um, is I, I have a flat, a very old school flat bed scanner. And I would go ahead and turn this upside down and uh, scan this and then post those those PDFs inside of our uh, learning management system. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to upgrade this uh, for the spring. It's, um, uh, depending on how things go, it looks as if there's a good chance that we will be um, will be virtual at least for the beginning of the spring semester. Um, so what I did was I'm I'm I am an Android guy. Uh, nothing against Apple. I just don't own a lot of Apple products. Um, and for me to go ahead and get a really awesome iPad and sort of do what I wanted to do, it would require me to sort of upgrade all the power cables. And I'm, I'm connected to my Windows 10 machine. I'm pointing to it. Uh, here it is over here. This is my Windows 10 uh, screen over here. And so I'm a, I'm a Windows person. It's a, my school is a Windows person, well, a Windows school, so it would be difficult to switch back over even though that's possible. So I did a little bit of research and found out that the, the, the recent um, – a e ink tablet from Onyx. It's called an Onyx uh, Books uh, Note Air, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and take my little tiny screen here and move this over here and move my mouse for a second. 
uh, pull this up here. So this is not a review of the device. There are plenty of reviews on YouTube um, of, of the device itself and unboxing. Uh, this is just me getting a hold of this like a day ago and learning how to use it. But I'm really excited to be able to um, do what I want to do um, for next semester. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold this on button here. Um, before I do that, um, for those of you who are not familiar with this device, it is a tablet. It, it, and because I mentioned before, I'm not an Apple person, um, but this is this is running Android 10. It's an Android 10 tablet, which is kind of cool, and it has an e-ink display, meaning that this is the display. It looks as if it's a sort of a, a screen protector of some kind, but this is the actual display right now when it's in sleep mode. So it has gone to sleep. It went ahead and, and made the display this permanent image, and then it went to sleep. So this is not an active um, a, a screen. It's a passive screen. So I'll go ahead and energize it. And bring this guy back on again and uh, and now we are and go ahead and re auto rotate it here and so now we're, we're back into my screen here it also has a this particular um, books uh, note air has a backlight you can adjust the light that's all kind of cool but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to notes and uh, what's cool about this and go to my I have a little folder here called scribbles because I'm just sort of playing around with it and so now what I have here is I have it's not the same size as my white piece of paper but it's, it's substantially large enough so what I can do is using this EMR 10 so this is an EMR pen and a Wacom tablet interface which is kind of cool I can go ahead and, and draw this picture again uh, but can I sort of nope um, one of the things I'm left-handed so I don't want to go ahead and, and hit this um, this screen here I did that I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, draw this again and here's my little car sort of right to the side get back down here again and I said that the velocity V equaled 3.2 meters per second. And oh, by the way, Y zero equals zero meters. Uh, so I haven't really up upgraded anything. I'm just using an EMR pen and a, a, a $500 tablet rather than a Sharpie and a, I don't know, five dollars for a ream of paper I haven't all i've done is just spend money at the moment which is kind of cool uh who doesn't like spending money but what's neat about this is uh, if i go over to my windows 10 device um, with a couple clicks um one thing i've been able to do uh, was go into the apps and i had to make sure that um, i installed the optional feature of being able to communicate with my windows 10 machine using the wireless display tool or the wireless display app so i had to install that windows 10 told me to do that as i was following the instructions to install and be able to do this i found out um again i just didn't i just didn't try this before not only does this wireless display work with my windows 10 um, um notebook air books air it also works with my um my samsung galaxy s9 plus which is fantastic so I was able to have fun playing with that as well. So it looks it works with both of my Android tablets, which, which is kind of cool. Uh, once installing that app, um, again, following the directions, I went back and go here to settings again. And under system, um, I can go here to projecting to this PC. Uh, and again, this is all built in in Windows 10. There's nothing I needed to add. Um, and, and I had to uh, go ahead and, and this was in the documentation from the, the books, folks. So here's the here's this picture here. Um, the the uh, books, folks, I uh, go ahead and event make this available anywhere anywhere on secure networks. Um, this is going to be the security step rather than being unsecured. Um, the, my, my, my Windows 10 desktop is not only wired to my home Ethernet, it is also I've turned on the wireless radio so it can, it can, it can accept uh, connections uh, wirelessly. Um, ask to project to PC every time the connection is requested and don't require a pin. Um, that's not compatible with this particular uh, device for the for the Onyx books. Um, and again, it's not really, I'm not worried about people driving by my house and randomly displaying things on my PC. They have to be connected to my Wi-Fi in the first place, so there's always security there. So this is ready to go. Um, when I click on launch the Connect app, the, the app has to be running on Windows 10 in order to receive the projection of my my screen. Um, uh, when I click here, it's going to go ahead and launch this maximized. And I found out at least the way I've seen it so far, and there's there's no uh, way to to resize that. So after running this the first time, I went ahead and pinned it to my taskbar, my start bar. So now I have this application down here. So now when I launch it from my taskbar. Um, it allows me to resize it. So now I have control of this window. I can move it around. I didn't mean to shake that. Come back here. Um, this Windows 10 tried. To, so this way I can have the this guy um, 
my 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 webcam displaying what I'm writing at the same time that I have the Windows 10 uh, ready to go to duplicate this. So let's go ahead and do this. So now that it's there, let's see if this works. We we'll go ahead and pull down on the the the, the books, press the screencast button. Um, and when I did that, you can't really see that it was a screen. Go ahead and pop back here again. Uh, probably can't do that. Now. But now here's my the name of my computer is my initials WLW. It's my Win 10s. Click on this guy and let's see if this guy works. And it's going to go ahead and do that. And now it went ahead and it dis displayed my screen. So now for me, what's cool about this is it has solved the problem of me being left handed. So I'm not sure how we can go ahead and, and do this, but let's go ahead and, and say, oh, I don't know, the, the initial position is um, x0 is 0 meters and the initial velocity is 3.2 meters per second as we said before and the initial acceleration let's go ahead and say the acceleration is 1.2 meters per second squared and time 0 equals 0 seconds this is a standard of course standard application um, and then of course when I get over here my hand is way over top of everything and this is how I would normally project everything um, using my sharpie and the students may, won't be able to see it but now when I go ahead and write and I, I fill out the, 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 the value over here of our ta later time our later velocity acceleration and time of course um, what can happen is I go ahead and I'm able to see what's happening at the same uh, on the same screen which is which is kind of cool I'm also able to um, save this and, uh, and, and 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 pop this or copy this PDF of this note um, to my my Windows machine so rather than running over to the flat screen scanner and scanning this in or God forbid taking this and putting it on the flat screen scanner we're taking a picture of it I can go ahead and save this and then give this to my students as well um, I usually use um, my um, my 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 phone as my my calculator for all these calculations but because this is a window uh, uh, an Android device I can go ahead inside the um, the books and go ahead and, and go to multiple screen here and pull up uh, my preferred calculator and now I have my real calculator so I'm not sure how this works but times 23 whatever um, sure so now I go ahead and I can run through my calculations but again typically I would be covering up how I calculate these things to get the answers back and then we can take the answer and switch back into our, our notes again and then come back to where we're, where, where we're working um, as I need to add another note page after we finish this and need more room push the button and, and keep on going again that's very similar to me jostling paper around and just picking out picking out a second sheet uh, but for me uh, this is pretty impressive and then of course when we're all finished we can go ahead and stop this I can take the screencast push the screencast button again press disconnect and it's and, and it's good to go and uh, make it make it go to sleep and close this and pull it back again so cool uh, just a just a quick um, show of how I plan to use this in the future um, there's a couple other uh, things I want to do um, with this device uh, and with my uh, as it goes out of focus um, with my students uh, next semester and uh, hopefully I'll bring you bring you along with the, for the ride so uh, fantastic uh, thank you much